Hey readers, since we are celebrating the 100th day of school, I thought it would be really cool to read a book called 100th Day of School. We've talked a little bit about why we celebrate the 100th day of school, but I thought this would be a fun book to look at how other people celebrate across the world, even across the United States. So it says that the 100th day of school is a special day celebrated at schools in many places across the world. The 100th day of school is not celebrated on the same day by everyone because different schools begin classes on different days. So we started counting from the first day of school all the way until now. And so our 100th day of school is at the end of January. This, is, this picture is talking about how teachers celebrate the 100th day of school at um, school, but adults don't usually celebrate that at work because they don't work with a school calendar. They work with the regular traditional yearly calendar. And then this is talking about how we can celebrate the 100th day of school even if we're learning from home because we're still learning every single day and we've still been counting the days. Why do people celebrate the 100th day of school? Well, in addition to celebrating the end of the first half of the school year, the 100th day of school is also a cool way to celebrate the number 100. 100 is an important number. People celebrate 100 in lots of ways. For example, in the year 2000, we celebrated the end of a century. Countries and towns have big celebrations to mark their 100-year birthdays. And here's a picture of a woman celebrating her 100th birthday. We do calendar countdowns, and we've been doing that every day. To celebrate the 100th day of school, we've been keeping track of the numbers of days that pass. And we've been doing that with our calendar every morning during our morning meeting. There are hundreds of ways to celebrate the 100th day of school. Most schools celebrate with fun and interesting activities that use the number 100. And we've been doing that all today on Canvas with our writing and our reading and our math activities. And we've, we're even celebrating by dressing up like we're 100 years old. They can skip count by ones, twos, fives, and tens. Children can use a hundreds chart to help them skip count. And you're also using a hundreds chart today to learn how to play a game called Race to 100. We can play guessing games and estimation games, just like the kids in this picture. They're estimating whether or not a bowl can hold 100 candies. And then we've even been talking a little bit about traveling back in time, like we've been talking about how toys have been old and new. So the 100th day of school is a good time to learn what life was like 100 years ago. We've been talking about that in our inquiry units. And here's a picture of what it looked like for kids when they used to learn um, 100 years ago. They wrote on chalkboards and we write on whiteboards. This is my favorite page, 100 Acts of Kindness. The 100th day of school is a happy day. Children choose to share happiness with others. And here's a picture of some children working together to bring 100 cans of foods to give others. So I really like this story all about the 100th day of school and I hope that you've had fun celebrating today.